from Just One More Project and I've got a really quick tutorial for you um, for making a really cute pair of earrings uh, just using text. So I'm going to show you kind of the idea that I was thinking. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps um, for creating this pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, so just follow along and feel free to pause as, as I am talking. I tend to talk super fast. So um, feel free to pause so you can follow along. All right, so I'm gonna open my text tool. I'm going to click and use my direct selection tool and make this a little larger. And I'm gonna type in the letters USA. Now I'm gonna choose a font that um, is kind of big and thick so that when I cut around the letters, it doesn't break apart on me. So let's just take a quick peek at the fonts that I've got. I kind of wanna do, I want it to be all capitals, so. I have like a bajillion fonts, so this might take me a minute. Um, da -da 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 -da. Here's one, okay. So I like this, so um, I am going to make this larger so you can see it. Now I'm gonna right click and hit create outlines and what that does is it creates a path around every single letter. Now I'm also going to ungroup them so that I can move them around. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna plop that right on top and I'm gonna kind of angle it because I want these to be like dangly kind of USA earrings. I know, right? So fun. Let's just make these a, f swap it from a fill to a stroke. And now I'm going to position these the way that I want. So I kind of like make that larger. And again, you can use this method for any any text you like. So maybe you do the words love, maybe do, I don't know. Might be fun to make earrings that say vote and <laughs> wear them on voting day. I don't know. Okay, so I like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this um, middle piece right here and I'm gonna get rid of it because I want to add a star in the middle. So I'm gonna go over to my shapes tool and I'm gonna select the star and I'm gonna draw a little star for the inner part of that A. It looks a little bit better to me. Let's rotate this just a bit. And put that a little more in the center. Okay, and now I don't like how these are super pointy, so if you zoom in and you click on your direct selection tool, you'll see that once I did that, you get these little circles at the end of every um, every point and what that does is when you click on it it's, it's gonna round them so you can go all the way down or you can go kind of a little so I'm just gonna round them just a tad because I think that looks better okay now I like this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unite all of these together and then I'm gonna show you Hold on, let's unite it oh whoops don't unite that star I'm gonna unite those and then I'm gonna knock this out so i'm going to highlight and i'm going to just so you can see what i'm doing okay i'm going to highlight and i still got my star there and then i'm going to go minus front so that that star gets knocked out so i'm going to swap that from a fill to a stroke again so that so now i can see that that's a cut line but now you can't really see that these are letters because i kind of merged them all together right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open or I'm gonna select my pen tool and I'm gonna draw score line so that before my laser um, cuts it, it actually is gonna score the rest of those letters so it can actually see what the letters are and then you actually can paint in between them. So um, it gives you kind of like a line to paint. So this is how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select my pen tool and I'm going to draw from there to there and, oh whoops, there we go. I'm gonna draw from there to there but once I click, I'm going to move it around a little just to round it so it looks like the bottom of that U. And I, if you hold down spacebar, you can move that anchor point that you placed. So kind of like it right there. Okay. And click too much. Okay. And then if you hit enter, it'll stop creating um, more anchors for you. So now I've created this line and I'm going to change the color to purple because that always makes me remember that I want to score that and then so now you can see that that is going to be a score line and I'm going to do the same thing over here so hit my 
pen tool, do the same thing. I'm going to click over there and then I'm just going to round it by moving my mouse and kind of figuring out how rounded I want. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now it's not going to continue creating anchor points. And now that's purple. And it looks like it's all supposed to be cut, but actually this is the piece that's going to be cut. And then these are the pieces that are going to be scored. So I am just going to select them both and go over to object, compound path and make so that my laser knows that that's one piece. And okay, now I'm just going to add a little circle for where you would um, put the earring pieces in. So let's just, let's do it over here. So I'm going to hold down shift as I draw this circle and we are going to put it right over there and I'm going to unite these two and then I am going to draw a little teeny circle on the inside because that is where you're going to insert the um, earring pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to minus front and so now this whole thing is good to go. However, let's get this set up for a laser. So I want to um, make, whoops. So I want to make this line red so that I know that I want to cut. And then I've got these lines as purple so I know that I want to create um, a score line there. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do before I send this to uh, my laser is I'm actually going to duplicate this and I'm going to flip it because when you put your earrings on, you're going to have one this way and one this way. <laughs> so um, let me go ahead and show you how I do that. We're going to go to Object, Transform, Reflect, and make sure that it's set to Vertical. And then there you go. So you've got one earring on this side and one ear on this side and then they will dangle. So now I'm going to save that as an SVG. So file, save as SVG. We're going to call them USA earrings. And there you go. If you like these tutorials, please feel free to subscribe. I try to get new tutorials out every week with different projects that you can work on. If you're interested in learning more about how to use Adobe Illustrator, I do have a course that teaches you from beginning to end called Project Academy, and it is so, so good. So if you um, are interested in that, the link is below. Thank you again. Bye-bye.